topic of discussion is Bergoteria. Bergoteria is the genus of Pseudomonadoda. It have many species. Three are important. What are the three species? Bergoteria, Pseudomeli, Bergoteria, Meli, Bergoteria, Cephasia. So, these three are important. What are the three species? Bergoteria, Pseudomeli, Bergoteria, Meli and Bergoteria, Cephasia. Bergoteria pseudomeli and Bergoteria meli are considered as potential agent of biological war. So these two are considered as bioterrorism agent. Potential agent of biological warfare so considered as bioterrorism agent. Three species we will discuss one by one. First one is Pergoteria pseudomeli. It is causing disease name is called as meliotosis. What is the disease name? Meliotosis. Then where it is present? It is found in soil, water and animal reservoir. It is a saprophytes. Where it is present? Soil, water and animal reservoir. Next one is mode of transmission. Inoculation, inhalation, aspiration and injection. Then man to man transmission very rare. Virulence factors, virulence factors are polychacrate capsules, LPS taxin, enzyme, proteins such as hemolysin, lipase and protease. Then risk factors, diabetes, renal failure in adult then traumatic inoculation in children and weather more commonly seen in rainy season and occupation rice farmer inoculation can be seen then incubation period two days to many years it is also called as vietnam time bomb disease generally seen in during Vietnam War, the soldiers hosted there after Vietnam War came back to US. After many years, started to showing the symptoms of meliotosis. Next one is clinical futures. Acute localized infection. Localized acute localized infection. Localized nodule, fever, muscle a general muscle ache which can rapidly progresses to infect the bloodstream. Second one is pulmonary infection occur in which mild bronchitis to severe tuberculosis like pneumonia. Third one is acute bloodstream infection which you can see in immuno, uh, immuno surprised patient like HIV, renal failure, diabetics. Next one is chronic superative infection in which various abscess are found in joint, viscera, lymph nodes, skin, brain, liver, lungs, bone and spleen. So multi-organ abscess can also seen. Next one is laboratory diagnosis. Based on the site of infection, samples will be collected. Specimen, it may be a sputum, prolonged discharge from lesion, aspirate, pus, etc. Then direct microscopy may seen typical gram negative bacilli with bipolar or safety pin appearance then culture it can grow red agar medium mechanki agar medium this one is the obligate aerobic organism non-motile oxidase negative 
which produced a colony wrinkled purple color colony selective medium is astound medium it producing colony wrinkled purple colonies then further specific anti sera can be using for identification of culture lactus agglutination test then serological test elisa indirect heme agglutination pcr we are using then treatment purpose using septacidine or carbavinim septacidine or carbavinim these are the two drugs choice of drugs so specimen based on site we collected direct microscopy gram negative bacilli that organism look like safety pin then it can grow blood agar and mekanki agar medium selective medium is astounds medium in this one it produ producing wrinkled purple color colonies then lactus agglutination test elisa indirect heme agglutination test and pcr we are using for serological purpose serological identification second species burgoteria meli it causing disease name is called as glander disease mainly causes in animals donkey horse like that it is generally pathogen of animals and it causes glander disease what is glander disease it may cause nasal discharge and ulcer in nasal spectrum and it also causes one more disease farsi what is farsi skin lesion and lymph node involvement for animals the infection occur in human generally transmitted from horse to human so it is zoonotic infection direct inoculation or inhalation it will enter human infection local skin nodules and lymphatenitis then and it progresses to pneumonia ulceration of trachea and sepsis then laboratory diagnosis similar to burgoteria pseudomelae only one different that organism in direct microscopy safety pin appearance this burgoteria melee seen in beaded appearance then treatment also similar only here also drugs of choice we are using septacidin and carbavinim septacidin and carbavinim third species burgoteria cephasia complex this one found in soil water and also presented in marine environment people with weakened immune system or chronic lung disease may be more at risk it also causes infection in hospitalized patient nosocomial infection also it will cause it consists of more than 18 species most common in cystic fibrosis is burgoteria sino safasia and burgoteria multivarans these are most common then less common in burgoteria vietnamensis burgoteria dolosa and safasia next one is virulence factors phylus elpis stimulate inflammatory response in lungs then nosocomial infection also it will cause multi drug resistant pathogen in icu causes pneumonia 
and wound infection then treatment cortimazole meropenem and toxicycline so this is all about third species Bargotoria Prefacia complex. Notes format. Thanks for watching.